Hi, in this video you will see a VPN user authenticate on FortiGate using Azure AD and Forti Authenticator as IDP proxy. With the current working environment, the ability to work from anywhere is important to any organization. To manage your remote workers and to secure your network, a centralized identity and access management is required. This is where a Forti Authenticator comes in. Forti Authenticator provides a centralized authentication service Along with 40 token, additional security is added by providing the second factor authentication. This video is related to another published video where user authenticates on 40 gate to access a cloud app and the 40 authenticator is acting as an IDP proxy. The link and the QR code can be seen here on the screen. For organizations with multiple 40 gates, 40 authenticator centralizes the authentication and 40 token management. When the user attempts to establish an SSL VPN connection to the FortiGate, gate, the authentication request is redirected by FortiGate Authenticator to the IDP, in this case, Azure AD. Upon the completion of the authentication, Forty token along with Forty Authenticator will provide the second factor as an added protection. Let's take a look at this process in action. The user uses the web browser to establish the SSL VPN web mode. The authentication request is redirected by 40 Authenticator to Azure AD. Once the authentication process is complete, 40 Authenticator will push a notification to the 40 token to perform the second factor authentication. To test the VPN connection, the user access a web page on the inside network. Let's take a look at the same process by using 40 client. When the user click on the SAML login, the web browser launches the authentication request and the 40 authenticator redirects the authentication to Azure AD. And once again, 40 authenticator pushes the second factor authentication to the 40 token to provide the second factor protection. Once again, the user tests the VPN connection by accessing an internal web page. Let's take a look at 40 gate after the user has authenticated and established the VPN connection. Here we can see the IP address of the remote client as well as the services. Let's move on to 40 Authenticator to see the logs of the authentication process. As seen here in the log, the user has been authenticated by the first factor as well as second factor authentication. Let's also take a look at the logs in Azure AD of the user authentication for the VPN connection. Let's transition to see how the configuration is done on the 40 Authenticator as well as Azure AD. First step in Azure AD is create an application. In this case, we'll click on create your own application. Once the application has been created, move over to 40 Authenticator. In 40 Authenticator, you will need to create Remote Authentication Servers SAML. Once the Remote SAML server is created, you will need to copy the information of the portal URL, Entity ID, as well as ACS Login URL to Azure AD. In Azure AD, click on Set Up Single Sign-On, SAML, and Edit Basic SAML Configuration. Copy information mentioned from 40 Authenticator to Azure AD Basic SAML Configuration. After Basic SAML Configuration is complete, click Edit for User Attributes and Claims. For the value User Group, make sure all groups are selected. Next, download the Certificate and Federation Metadata XML. Move back to the 40 Authenticator to import the metadata XML as well as the certificate. Once import is completed, the IDP metadata will be auto-filled. In Azure AD, copy the logout URL and paste it in IDP single logout URL in 40 Authenticator. Copy the name of the created application 
go to roles and administrators, then to directory readers. Click on add assignments. Click on no member selected. Paste the application name and select the application. Click next and assign. Go back to 40 Authenticator, click on Remote Authentication Server, OAuth, and select Active Directory. Back in Azure AD, click on App Registrations, then click on the name of the application created. Copy the application client ID and paste it in 40 Authenticator. In Azure AD, click on Client Credentials, then click on New Client Secrets. Copy the value and paste it in 40 Authenticator. Client key field. Go back to Remote Authentication Servers, SAML, and select Cloud, OAuth Server, and the name of the OAuth Server. Next, go to User Management, Realms, Create New, and select the SAML name as a user source. Next, click on SAML IDP, General, complete the server's address information, and select the SAML Realm that was just created. Finally, Select the default IDP certificate. Next, click on Replacement Messages, Login Page, IDP Proxy, and replace the three URL on the screen with 40 Authenticator's URL. Let's move on to the configuration of the 40 Authenticator and 40 Gate. Access the certificate of the 40 Authenticator and export the certificate. Go to 40 Authenticator and import it as Remote Certificate. Note and jot down the name of the certificate that was just imported. Click on the CLI console, type config user SAML, note the information on the screen, and obtain the IDP information from the 40 Authenticator. In 40 Authenticator, click on Authentication, SAML IDP, Service Provider, Create New, complete the SP name, and select the IDP prefix, and copy the IDP Identity ID, IDP Single Sign-On URL, as well as IDP Single Logout URL, and paste it in the CLI configuration of the 40 Gate. Next, on the 40 gate, copy the entity ID, ACS login URL, SLS logout URL, and paste it in 40 Authenticator. Next, in assertion attributes, make sure the SAML attribute as well as the user attribute matches on both the 40 Authenticator as well as 40 gate. Next, in 40 gate, configure the user group as seen on the screen. The last thing to configure on the 40 gate is the SSL VPN configuration. In 40 gate, click on VPN, SSL VPN portals, configure the name, select routing address overwrite and source IP pools. Next, click on SSL VPN settings, select listening on interfaces and listening port, and click on all other user groups under authentication port mapping, and select the name of the portal that was just created. Final step in the 40 gate is to create the firewall policy. Click on firewall policy, SSL VPN tunnel interface, create a name, specify incoming interface, outgoing interface, source address, users, destination, and services. Let's move on to 40 Token mobile configuration and mobile setup. In 40 Authenticator, click on User Management, Remote User, SAML, Import, then select the Remote SAML server created in the previous steps. For Group, select All Users. Select the user imported from Azure AD. Turn on One-Time Password Authentication. Select 40 Token. Mobile, select a token, email for the activation delivery method, 
and click OK to complete the 40 token configuration. On the mobile device, open the 40 token mobile app, tap the plus sign next to manage, point the camera on the QR code on the screen from the email attachment that was sent from the 40 authenticator. When scan completes, the 40 token has been added to the mobile device. Next is the configuration of the 40 client. In 40 client, click Remote Access, Configure VPN, Configure a name, input the FQDN of the 40 gate, configure the port number, check Enable Single Sign On for VPN Tunnel, and check Use External Browser as User Agent for SAML User Authentication. Click Save to complete the configuration. To access the 40 gate VPN web mode, open the browser, enter the FQDN for 40 gate, Add colon and the port number. Hit enter to access the SSL VPN login on the 40 gate. This concludes the demonstration of 40 gate authentication using Azure AD and 40 Authenticator as IDP proxy. Thank you for watching.